nigga eights, baby. Six nigga eight dinos. Enjoy the greatest dino deck you have ever seen in your life. Don't forget to subscribe to both Trip Gaming and Trip Fitness. Links in the description. Enjoy greatness, my friends. And let's get straight into the greatness, guys. As you see, here is our hand. I'm going to be showing you guys a replay. Not so much a replay, but me doing it as myself to show you guys the like, main combo of the deck. This exact 6 and 8 combo you're going to see happens every single hand. Every single hand, no matter how bad it is. You just got to know how to do it properly. That's the main part of it. Now, let me look at this hand. You know most of the cards in it, but you most of you might not know Carbon Edit. What this card does, it's essentially another miscellaneous source in this deck. And with the release of Miko, one of the most broken synchro cards ever made in history, if not the most broken card, synchro card ever made in history, Carbon Edit becomes absolutely broken. It allows you to special on free level 7 and lower Dragon Mod normal from your deck. And it helps you make, you bring out a tuner, helps you make Miko so easily. And Miko then brings out a, a, world, a, a world challenge guard dragon, which will end up summoning the same tuner back. And with that tuner, you're going to summon back for a second time. And multiple effects of Miko that you're going to be getting off from Miko. You're going to have free everything, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, it's another miscellaneous source. So you're playing with six miscellaneous sources. Uh, Fossil Dig off the bat, obviously, you're going to go Obi Raptor. And if you look at it now, you're going to normal summon Obi Raptor. Obviously, it's the only normal summon you have in your hand. And get miscell miscellaneous source. We're going to stop for a bit. Look at this. We got Carbonate in, miscellaneous source. So essentially, two miscellaneous sources. They do the same thing when they get sent to the graveyard. Banish, special, level 1 tuner. That's the point of the deck. Most people that play Carbonate in, in their Dino decks play the level 2 tuner to make Miko right away. But. There's way more level 4s in your deck while on Earth would you not play level 1 tuner. Now I'm going to show you guys more as you play, but you got 4 nice gear effects in here. Sukunogo, Quadalus, Miscellaneous Source, Carbon Edit. And we're going to fast forward a little bit. We do some danger plays. Uh, over here it shows 1, but when I played it showed a 6. Alright, so I kept going, I think I clicked double, so it's like I just, oh, 6, 1. So I didn't know which one I did, so I just did it one more on top just to make it fair. Uh, and then we kept going there. Uh, we got, The Miscellaneous got discarded. Banish Miscellaneous Source, Special Attract, Aeolo. Now, if you notice, level 1, level 4, Miko's level 5. So, the point of the deck, you want to make a Miko before you go into the Orcas combo. So, you can Dino Orcas, obviously, but you want to go into Miko and then Saryuja before you go into the Orcas combo. So, essentially, you're going into Miko, or uh, Saryuja, and then Orcas combo. You end up on 6 Negates, and it's absolutely amazing. You get Boral Savage with it as well. That's another amazing part about Dangers. You get rid of Orb Attacks, get yourself a lot of plus, and get yourself the over the... Uh, the double elbow pill, and now we have a Nessie and Dogman in hand, which is good. You don't need to use too much of your uh, you don't need to overextend, you don't need to do too much at this point. Well, we're, we're good enough to go to the Miko. What Miko does for those who don't know, absolutely amazing, amazing card. Uh, when this card is sync or summon, add a world legacy card, you have world legacy succession, absolutely amazing. Uh, the synergy succession out of the deck is amazing. You can basically do whatever you want, synchro wise, uh, and you always make sure you get to resolve your cards. Uh, what you're gonna do next here, you're gonna want to. Right after you, Miko, you're going to go into the Orcas play. You're not going to... You're just going to have Nightmare Mermaid. That's it. You're not going to go into Galatea. You're just going to have Nightmare Mermaid to have access for the Nightmare to... Uh, Orcas Nightmare to be around the field. And that's it. Uh, what happens when Miko leaves the field? It is special summons Will, uh, Will Chalice from your deck. And what Will Chalice Guard Dragon does is banish from your grave a special a normal monster in your grave to a zone link monster points to. Uh, and what do you know? You're going to be bringing out a normal monster from Carbonetin, which is why it's a fantastic synergy. And you're going to want Mermaid to discard the Carbonetin over the Nessie to ensure that it goes to the graveyard for sure, no matter what. That's why we go do this first. We're going to have Orcas Nightmare, and now we're going to activate Carbonetin's effect to banish it from the graveyard. Now you guys notice how good the dinos are in here. Miscellaneous Cells, Carbonetin literally do the same thing. One brings up Jurek Aiello, one brings up Von Volgar. That's the main point of it, of it of them in this deck. And having Overwrapped and Fossil, you have 12 ways to get them. And which is why I also love going Saryuja because you're going to so save the Orcus Nightmare for later. Now you're going to get a free Saryuja for nothing. And you're going to get a free, so free up some space. You're going to need a free up some space. And here's where you can dig for more stuff. Now, dig, fossil dig, ha, <laughs> dad joke. Uh, anyways, aside from that horrible dad joke, uh, we already ended up getting Carbonetti, Miscellaneous Saurus, Evopel, and Ori Raptor through uh, Cyphering through our first turn. And with uh, dangers, etc. So we didn't, don't need to keep this fossil dig. But typically, if you don't have access to all four of those in the turn, you're going to see Yusha, and you're going to get a, one of those 15, obviously, or three or four, those 15, whatever it may be. And you're going to want to kind of cipher for one of, or two or three or four of them. We don't need the fossil dig here. What we're going to do is we're going to save a level 7 to special summon off Yusha. 
and we're gonna use a guard dragon to banish a special of guard to get us a uh, free Boral Savage before we do our Orcas play. And what you're gonna see is really the whole Orca, the new Orcas combo post Dane plus a uh, Quadalus plus a Savage Dragon plus four cards in hand. So it's absolutely amazing, man. Uh, we're gonna keep these cards. We're gonna end up special summoning the Dogman. Uh, special summon uh, Fonville Garden Maker, some of the nice Boral Savage. Very nice, very simple. Who doesn't like a free Boral Savage? And at this point, you could have used, uh, so you just a material, but it's gonna gain 300 attack, and it's just nicer to have it in the very end, not to take a space from the Orcas com for the Orcas combo. And now we're going to use Sayuja after you, you special summon the card and uh, the Orcas Nightmare into Galatea. And now you're going to do the Orcas combo as normal. Uh, you're going to use the Evapo whenever you want. You're not going to bring out Conductor right away. I'd rather go Conductor last because you want to, you're going to do the or Orcas combo as normal. I'm going to do a little slower for those who don't know the new one. Uh, but before we do that, save the Conductor for last because now that uh, we're going to put Quadalus Overtax over here. You have to use Overtax Effect to get another Evo Pill to hand. And you're going to save the succession for next turn. Because if you save the succession for next turn, you special Obi Raptor, get yourself Conductor to hand. And the Qualys is going to give you another Evo Pill to hand. So next turn, you're going to have a free Conductor and a free Qualys on top of the other cards you're going to have in hand. So uh, you want to make sure your follow-ups are always great on top of your six negates. It's four negates plus uh, Rusty Pop plus a uh, non-targeting send. So uh, it's like four negates and two uh, Pops. Uh, so the new combo, for those who don't know, because there's no summon sorting out, obviously, uh, you're gonna go into Dengirsu over the Galatea, you're gonna activate Dengirsu's effect, to uh, attach a skeleton from your extra deck to it as a material, and then you're gonna link away, you're gonna have to go for Cloak, you're gonna have to play Cloak and Boots in here, 100% now, and you're gonna have to get the Cloak, the Special of the Boots, Special of the Boots, and the Dengirsu to go into Galatea to be able to freely use Babel on, uh, and Galatea on the on the opponent's turn. You can go into any link too if you want, really. You could go into uh, Ib if you really want to. You can go into Proxy Dragon. Like, you can go into whatever link you want. It does not, it's not relevant. Uh, Proxy Dragon might be cool or Ib might be cool, but it, it's just good. Galatea is good. You want follow-up. It's more important, to be honest, because uh, it's going to get yourself climax, uh, the Climax for the following turn. And at this point, you're going to Evo Pill. Uh, get yourself, like I said, you definitely want... Qualys is dark, so you just do it at the very end. But you definitely, definitely, definitely would prefer Qualys because uh, you want more spell trap negates. You already have double fog blade, two pops uh, with this and Dengirsu. So why uh, wait? Why have another monster negate? We already have like five interruptions for monsters. You want legitimate spell trap negates, just in case you play some garbage cards like the new mine, uh, not mining, the new uh, yeah, the new field spell. It's like mine something absolute garbage card. Why people are hyping it? It's absolutely shit, uh, especially when you play uh, negates like this. And yeah, that's the deck. Now we're going to show you guys, uh, right off the bat over here, we're going to show you guys the deck list now. So the deck list is absolutely consistent as hell, man. Absolutely consistent. As you see over here, the six Obi Raptors, you always want it. And you always want to cipher through it with Sayuja to make sure you get it. Triple Miscellaneous Saurus, Triple Carbogenin. Carbogenin does exactly what Miscellaneous Saurus does for this deck. Don't worry about Miscellaneous Saurus effect where it protects Obi Raptor. If you, uh, off the bat, have a Miscellaneous Saurus and Obi Raptor, use Miscellaneous Saurus for us. First, so Obi Raptor does not get hand trapped. Jurek Iolo is level 120 you bring up with Miscellaneousaurus. Fonville Guard is the card you bring up with Carbonetin. And all of them are just fantastic. They are, I love all 12 of these. These new dinos. This is like the new wave of dinos with Miko. It makes Miko so damn easy to make thanks to these 12. And I wouldn't play it if we just like a random plus it. But Miko is so damn good that it gets you Guard Dragon and Succession. And how Guard uh, Fonville Guard will be able to get special again from Guard Dragon. From the uh, well, Charles Guard Dragon. And a succession can bring back Obi Raptor next turn to your conductor. And how you're already going to have a uh, Quadalus from it. So it's absolutely amazing synergy. Uh, next, Triple Quadalus. So good with dangers, especially Mothman. It makes Mothman like times 10 in power having a Quadalus or having one of these in hand because Mothman could send you another plus. Uh, Evo Pill. So obviously, this is the main part of it. We only have one conductor because you'd 1000% rather the Quadalus on board to start. You need more spell trap negates. You have more than enough monster interruptions. Why would you need more? They're absolutely it's just redundant at that point. Uh, if you really need to, you can put up the conductor, and then just one conductor is all you need. Armageddon and Rhoda are so damn good in this deck because succession, you get to use Armageddon as many times as you want, and it's essentially what, what Obi Raptor does, but it brings up Quadalus instead. So you're gonna cipher through all these 20. I consider all these dino cards like the Armageddon and Rhoda foolish because they bring out the Quadalus, which is the main point of it. You're gonna cipher through these 24 dino cards, at least three of them every turn, because you're gonna so usually you're gonna draw multiple times with these. Absolutely amazing. 
Next, we play uh, 24 Dangers. Dangers are so damn good with these 24 Dino cards. So 24 Dangers, 24 Dino cards. Uh, nice little... Uh, it works out perfectly just the way it is. Uh, the ratios. We play Dogman. Uh, simply because you want a more level 7s. You have nine, 9 ways to get level 7s. Triple Jack, Triple Nessie, Triple Dogman. You want a level 7 because you want a Brawl Savage. Why on earth would you not want, not, not want another Negate? Why would you not want another Negate? Uh... Next, we play one Cloak, one Boots. You need the Cloak now for the new combo. Double Nightmare, one Horror, one Skeleton. You don't need to play World 1 anymore. One Will Child's Guard Dragon. Another cool combo you could do is uh, play Lee, the Will Child's Fairy, as well. And you special Lee to add uh, Will Child's Guard Dragon to hand from Miko in this combo. And uh, giving you a hand trap. And then you just link away with uh, Lee. And maybe possibly link away with Lee and then special this off. So you, just, you can do a lot of plays, but... I just find it the best, uh, uh, the most consistent way to bring a Savage Dragon on top of the, like, Savage Dragon, Quadalus, Double Fog Blade, Rusty Pop, and Dengarsu is by just special in Guard Dragon straight, even though you don't, uh, you lose the plus one kind of, but you don't want to risk not being able to do it. One succession, all you need, if you happen to draw one of these, it doesn't matter, uh, you play, that's why you play 60, because if you happen to draw one of these bottom uh, 12, you have to play these bottom 12 regardless, so if you're playing these bottom 12 and 40, like, and you're playing these bottom, all these top 48 cards are the cards you want to draw. Why, why would you want to take out any of these top 48? They're all so good. These bottom 12, you don't want to draw. But if you play 40, you're playing these bottom 12 anyways, and only 28 good cards. So you're just adding more good cards in if you're playing 60 in Orcus. You got to play these 12 anyways. So why would you play these 12 and 40 and have a higher chance to draw them? I don't understand that. 60 is 10 times better when you have to play in combo decks like this. It's like what people play 60 card heroes or whatever back when with like a soul day, whatever. Like, you don't want to draw equip spells. These are essentially equip spells. You don't want to draw them. Uh, they, they don't, it doesn't matter if you draw them. It doesn't affect your turn. It's just like you minus one because you're going to get them for free anyways. Uh, next, one Miko. Literally best card in the deck. Absolutely remarkable. Uh, this card's absolutely nuts. I want to play it in Pendulum, in everything. I'm going to even find a way to play this in, in Paleo. I don't care. This card's absolutely nuts. Uh, the way I built uh, the main deck is in order of planning and what cards do. I don't care about Monster Spell Trap organization. It's organized in terms of uh, Fossil Dig is the same as Obi Raptor, something like that. And the way we organize the extra deck is the correct chronology of how you're going to be playing it in your turn. You're going to go Miko first, and you're going to Nightmare Combo, whether it be Phoenix or Cerberus. So if you know what deck you're playing, you use one and then save the other for going second. So you keep it over here after you use it. Go Mermaid, and then you use Yusha after that. You Boil Savage after that. Then you Galatea, and then you Rusty, and then you Dengarsu, and then you Galatea again. And then you need these nine for the combo. And then you're left with six cards uh, to go second or utility. Uh, whichever nightmare you don't use. A unicorn you always want as utility. And then top of logics are unbelievably good with uh, orchestrated babble. So I find Trisbania and uh, Bomber Dragon in certain situations, certain decks are auto wins. In certain, like, even after you go first, let's say after you, clear the, after you put up your five negates, let's say they're somehow, somehow in the game, whatever. You go into this after, it's almost just game. Or going second, uh, they don't see them coming, going second. No one sees top logic cards coming, going second. So after you clear the interruptions, you top logic their ass, and they just cry, and then you win, because you just have could do so much more from there. Uh, then both Borals, I think you have to play both Borals. I think Thunders are not dead yet. They're still so good, and Boral load cucks that deck. Uh, it's honestly amazing. Try it for yourself. Every single hand does it. Like you, I'll do a... Random replay, uh, randomizations, like 10 of them in a row right after. Look at the first five. They're all going to be amazing. Side deck cards, obviously not the real side deck, but cards you could also put in. Gilosaurus works out well, but dangers are just better. Uh, conductor, more conductors, but I find more of my brick. One is honestly all you need. More dangers because you're just so good with the dinos. You have so many ca dino cards in your hand that you want in the graveyard, so they're just so good like that. Distrudo, I thought about it, but you don't really need it. World 1, an option. Nah, Lee, I told you, option. Nah. Allures are good, but I don't want to draw to the 12 cards. I don't want to draw even like the Fonville and the Jirak. That's 14. That's also why you don't want to play 40. Like, there's 14 cards you need to play. Why on earth would you not just play 60 when well, you don't want to see these 14? Uh, next, Orchestra Return was an option over Climax, but Climax is too good not to play, even though you have to wait a turn to use it because you always want the Babel instead. A third Fog Blade in case you draw it. I really don't need it. Guard Dragons because World Child's Guard Dragon is a drag. Is a Guard Dragon. Uh, well, Dragon mainly, obviously, but. Uh, it just took up way too much slots in the extra deck. You could ideally take out the two top logics if you want, and maybe a boar load. But then even if you did that, uh, look how short you are. There's still like you need uh, out of these four, even like a uh, uh, the triple burst. You need like five of them. There's just not in the space. And I'd rather I want to really want to play boar load. So it's really just the top logics that are options. 
you can't take out anything else on the deck. Even so, you, you can't take it out. Uh, and then Yazi combo for uh, the Mirror Mirror. That's a, that's a deck. It's honestly remarkable. Try it for yourselves. It's uh, You see the deck right here. Like It's right there. Just play it. It's honestly amazing. I'm not boasting when I say this. Deck's remarkable. The deck's actually remarkable. And it's legitimately tier one. It puts up six negates every single turn. I'm going second. It blitzkriegs through them. Like, what are you going to interrupt? Miko? Sure. Orca's combo. What are you going to interrupt? So you're just sure. Orca's combo. Like, it just blitzkriegs through hand traps. Like, what are you interrupting here? If you stop the Miko, uh, what are you stopping? Are you ashing its effect? Sure. Link away. More plastic. Are you weren't negating its summon? No problem. So usually afterwards, Orca's afterwards. Like, there's no way to stop this deck. It's honestly so damn good. Except you play, unless you play Pendulums. That's it, that guys. Hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. I did this live on stream. If you want me to break any deck, let me know live on stream. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.